20 veterans and five of their spouses who died in central Iowa are now at their final resting place at the Iowa Veterans Cemetery. For some, it took decades to get to this point. KCCI's Ben Kaplan joins us now. Ben, hundreds of people came out to honor these veterans today. Stacy, they did, and it was absolutely amazing. Today started at the West Des Moines Christian Church. A procession brought the veterans here to the Iowa Veterans Cemetery. Uh, it was uh, just staggering to see all of the cars one by one, just following another, escorting those veterans here. And it's here on these hollowed grounds where those veterans and their spouses are finally going to find that resting peace. George Voth. Why say goodbye to someone you never knew? All these people will tell you. But this kind of tugs it my heart strings that these veterans were left lying on a shelf and I feel they deserve to be laid to, you know, final resting place. And I wanted to be a part of it. I just am very grateful to be here and be a part of this. They gathered by the hundreds, first at West Des Moines Christian Church awesome. and then the Iowa Veteran Cemetery to salute the heroes in these handcrafted urns. Unclaimed veterans who died here in central Iowa, some decades ago. This living hero and World War II veteran was here to salute them all. 102-year-old Howard McDonald even served as a flag recipient for fellow World War II vet Harry Gardner. Well, I, I couldn't say no. Those ones, people like that are all heroes. Someone else who knows about service, making sure Gardner wasn't forgotten. As the sheriff, uh, I was his court-appointed guardian. Marion County Sheriff Jason Sandholt, adamant his friend received the send-off he deserves. I think he's very happy right now. I think that he, he's looking down and, and um, I think he's appreciative of, of all the honoring that the people that were here today um, did for him. Thankfully, all these veterans have Lene Strovers and the final salute watching out for them. Thank you all for being a part of this journey with me and helping us honor the men and women who we have served. Near the end, taps was played and flags were presented. A fitting goodbye for the long forgotten who have all now claimed a piece of our hearts. And it really was uh, something to behold, Stacy. I'll say this, the final salute now has been really responsible for laying 70 of these unclaimed veterans and their spouses to rest over the last handful of years. And I've been told there's already a couple that are waiting for the next ceremony. Uh, so we know there will be one in the future.